What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released watchOS 8.4.1 for the Apple Watch Series 4 and later. So this comes just one week after the release of watchOS 8.4 and this was the only software released today. We didn't get any iOS, iPadOS, macOS or any other software, just this right here for the Apple Watch. And taking a look at the size first, you can see it was a very small update, about 300 megabytes for me on my Apple Watch Series 7. But of course that size will vary depending on the Apple Watch that you have and also the version you're coming from. But let's go ahead and check out the build number here for this update. So I have my Series 7, like I mentioned, and if we go ahead into our settings right here and go down to our general about, we can see the build number here for 8.4.1 is 19S550. All right, so now what's new here in watchOS 8.4.1? And as you can see in the release notes here, Apple only says that it includes bug fixes for the Series 4 and later. It doesn't say specifically what bugs were fixed. So that is for us to find out. And I think that this update is likely a fix for the ECG readings for those in Malaysia. So that was having issues earlier. And that would also, you know, make sense for it saying the series four and later, since that is when the ECG feature first came out. So if you are in Malaysia and you had issues with your ECG readings, that should be fixed with this update. Now also Apple did say that watchOS 8.4, which again was released last week, Apple said that that fixed the major charging issue for the Series 7, but many of you guys actually said that it did not fix it for you. So this is mainly related to charging via a third-party adapter or charger, and a lot of you guys said that watchOS 8.4 did not fix that, even though Apple mentioned it in the release notes. So I would expect that to also be fixed here, but I never had that issue to begin with. I don't use third-party chargers, but if you have had that issue on 8.4, Make sure to update to 8.4.1 and let me know in a comment down below if it's finally been fixed for you. Now you'll also notice this watch face that I have on right here. So this is the Unity Lights watch face. This was just recently released and I really like this watch face. So you can see here, if we go into the watch application on my iPhone right here and we go over to Unity Lights right here. So if we go to the Unity Lights watch face right here, you can see these are all of the things that you can customize with it. So the dial, the color, the style. I like the style two right here with a little hour, uh, little ticks right there. We also have our complications, one in each corner. So this is a nice new Apple Watch. This was not released via software. It was just an over the air update. It did not come with watchOS 8.4. So if you're on a previous version, you could still get access to this watch face, which I'm actually a big fan of. Now, I also wanted to mention the security patches in watchOS 8.4. So this was the update that came out last week. I did not make a video on it, but there were a lot of security patches in that update. So a lot of WebKit bugs were patched, some kernel bugs, the big WebKit storage bug that had to do with leaking out your Google information and your browsing history. That was also patched for the Apple Watch. So there's a lot of reasons to update to watchOS 8.4, but for watchOS 8.4, one, there is nothing changed related to security. So this update was not pushed out for security reasons. It was mainly for bug fix reasons, likely the ECG feature in Malaysia, and of course the battery charging issues. Nothing related to security, so that is a kind of a sigh of relief as well. But as far as anything else in watchOS 8.4.1, again, it is a double point update, so you don't expect anything really changed in this update. So that's about all I have, but there are some bugs I wanted to mention that could be fixed in this update. I'm not too sure. I wanna mention them and see if you guys are having these as well. So number one, of course, if you have any intermittent charging issues, let me know in a comment down below. This update could fix it, especially for third-party chargers, but I've not had that issue personally, so I cannot attest to if that's been fixed or not. Also, I have noticed recently, especially after watchOS 8.4, that I have a big delay with my notify when left behind alerts. So anytime I leave something behind, the delay is like 15 to 20 minutes on my Apple Watch, which is pretty annoying. I've also noticed that my notifications have been very inconsistent lately. Sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't get them at all. So that's something I hope is fixed in this update, but it only started happening after watchOS 8.4 for me. Also, as you can see, I am in a focus mode right now up top, and I've had issues with that for a while now. Sometimes it'll just get stuck, even when I turned it off on another device. Like if I turn it off on my iPhone right here, let's see if it goes off this time. Of course it does. So it went off there, but if I turn it back on, let's see if it goes back on. Okay, so it's working properly now. 
I did have issues with that on 8.4 and 8.3. So that could be fixed in this update, but again, it doesn't happen every single time. So let me know if you guys have that as well. So hopefully some of these bugs have been addressed with this update, but again, Apple did not tell us in the release notes exactly what's been patched. That's kind of just for us to test out and see. But if you guys have had any of those or anything else that I didn't mention, let me know in a comment down below, along with anything that you found is fixed with this update. Now, as far as performance goes here in watchOS 8.4, 4.1 it's great i mean really everything has been terrific for me since first updating to watch os 8 the first version so really not much has changed throughout these you know different point updates but watch os 8.4.1 feels just fine to me i'm able to open up applications scroll through applications and everything is fast and smooth as expected now as far as the battery life goes battery life has been great and i'd expect 8.4.1 to have the same battery life as watch os 8.4 of course my battery charts are not filled out because i have been using my apple watch se lately and if you guys missed my recent video on that my recent review i will leave that linked up in the cards and down in the description below but no complaints here with battery life on this update and then as far as if you should update to watch os 8.4.1 or not i would say that if you had bugs on watchOS 8.4, you should definitely update to 8.4.1 as it could very well fix some of those issues. But if not, if you had no bugs at all on watchOS 8.4, this update honestly is not a must download since there are no security vulnerabilities, no security patches with this update. So you aren't really susceptible to anything if you do not update. So it is a recommended update just because it's always nice to be on the latest version and have all the bug fixes, but it's not a must update in my opinion. All right, so now let's talk about what we can expect to see next for the Apple Watch. So today is Tuesday, February 1st, and we could see a watchOS 8.4.2 at some point later on this month, but we might not see anything until watchOS 8.5, which is likely coming sometime in early March. Now, Apple could also wait until sometime in mid-March if they do have a spring event planned. Apple could just wait to release the software along with all the other new products that might be coming out at this event. So we'll have to wait and see, but right now my guess is sometime in early to mid-March for watchOS 8.5 which will be the same time that iOS 15.4, macOS Monterey 12.3, and all the other software updates are released. But of course, we'll see. Apple does switch things up sometimes, and I will let you guys know on Twitter if anything has changed as far as the release schedule for watchOS updates. But anyways, guys, there you have it. Just a very minor update for the Apple Watch Series 4 and newer. That is watchOS 8.4.1. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe for a lot more watch watchOS updates. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.